actually a video that I've been asked to do by multiple people because of my Truth About Asian and video. I was asked to do a Truth About Whole Foods but the truth is there's no like there's no tea to be spilled about Whole Foods. Believe it or not Whole Foods was very fucking easy to get into. You just go in there and be yourself. I'm going to tell you right now. Here's what you got to do. So the process for me to get into Whole Foods I applied in July. Mind you I was still at my my shitty ass job at H&M. I cannot even say that name without getting like carpal tunnel, whatever that means. I cannot like breathe when I say the H word. But anyway, I was still at my trash ass job and I needed something else because I was about to quit. Like there was no way, period. Like I had to go. So I applied in July and I actually received a call. Um, I wanna say a week after I applied, very quick. So guys, when you um, apply and they call you, please be prepared to do like an, a screening. Basically what they do is they give you like a screening phone call to fill you out just to see where your headspace is at and to see if they would like to bring you in for an interview. So um, when I answered the phone, a bitch was out of breath. Like I was walking around, um, walking back to my apartment from Carvel. I had to get me some ice cream and I was walking like so out of breath. I answered the phone sounding like Biggie Smalls. It was a hot ass mess, but anyway. When I answered the phone, I was like, you know, hello. Um, she was like, hi, blah, blah, blah. This is, you know, blah, blah, blah from Whole Foods. Um, I was very ecstatic. Like I was very happy, energetic over the phone. Definitely be yourself when you're answering the phone. And she asked me like some general questions. She asked me why Whole Foods? My answer was, and you can steal this if you want, because of course this kind of still need my job. But um, I said I like the sustainability and the environment. When I walk into the environment, not only is the produce fresh, but everyone's vibe and energy is organic as well. So as corny as that sounds is, that secured me the bag. Um, she also asked me about my work history and what I did. Um, just general screening questions. And then fortunately for me, I was called in to do the interview. When you go into the interview, please, 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 you do not have to dress like you're fresh out of men's warehouse or Davis Bridal sis. Like, just come in, clean cut, business casual, chill. Um, my face was beat to the gods, I'm not gonna lie. Face was laid down, laid, fried, and died. Like, I was cute as fuck. Yeah, you don't have to come in like too hot. Just go in there looking, you know, because I've seen people like just working at Whole Foods come in there looking like they was raiding steve harvey's closet like suits the gowns we don't need it anyways yeah so um for my interview i actually was interviewed by two people atl who i miss very much um and someone from the seafood department so my atl interviewed me oh and atl is like basically like the assistant store manager so my atl interviewed me and some questions that he asked were why whole foods um, how are you with customer engagement um, and then availability now with any retail job you know that you have to be available on weekends that's not really it wasn't really new to me but at the same time I was working another job but I was about to get the fuck from H&M anyway so I put down I had open availability he made me sign off on it and I guess he liked my answers that I was saying so he went and got someone else from a different department to interview me that person had nothing to do with the front end but anyway um that person was from seafood and he interviewed me and basically was asking me like problem solving questions you do if a customer was irate and you know you had guests behind you how would you handle with an irate customer and um my answer was of course you guys can steal this um you always have to put the guests first and create a guest experience for customers it's just basically talking the managers up letting them know my past present uh, experience and I just basically wrapped the interview up so then um, the ATL came back over and he basically was telling me you know you know if you got the job then we're gonna send you an email or call you either or I want to say within 40 minutes I got an offer letter um, they were going to pay me 1250 wasn't really like tripping because I was getting paid um, 
1225 at H&M so I'm like double income but at the same time I wanted to leave H&M so I was like praying I could like get more hours at Whole Foods that way I can substitute those hours at H&M so um I just want to talk about something actually really quick um the onboarding process for Whole Foods was so fucking chill we had to do um, a video with global management so we were on like a video call a conference call with different regions and um my store manager actually printed out these ten dollar coupons for all the new trainees so we got free lunch um i thought that was so cute we got free lunch we got um paid training um and basically like everyone was super chill super nice um I can't really think of any negative things in my experience as to onboarding everything was super easy I definitely think I caught on pretty quick when it came to um, the register one thing I will say is codes and there's like fucking 2,000 plus codes that you have to like memorize in your head and it's like you're ringing up these codes so much you're gonna dream about 3374 banana like you're going to be thinking about these codes like when you're not even supposed to be thinking about codes it's so many codes register was pretty easy to be trained on customers at whole foods are a different breed for the simple fact they are super entitled coming with that mindset that i own this place on you you're gonna do everything correctly or i'm gonna bitch and complain but if you are used to retail then that won't really bother you um i'm used to dealing with um stuck up food raisinettes so like it didn't really phase me i mean at first it did because i had so many like rude customers at once but then i just was like like matching the energy in november of 2018 we actually got a raise 15 dollars, so we were getting paid 15 dollars an hour which i thought was really fucking cute and at that point i was just like fuck h m like they're in the dust whole foods gives you 15 dollars an hour so that is another quirk um to yes pto so you earn i want to say three hours per pay period if you work 28 hours a week um and i'm assuming you earn more being full-time i never was full-time i was always part-time but um yeah you earn three hours per 28 hours and that's what i worked per week 28 hours which i think is really dope because you can accumulate so many hours managers are very sweet they're super concerned about like your well-being um i haven't really got any negative vibes but i mean i do notice like favoritism but that's with every job there's always a couple of employees that get away with certain shit that you know if you were to do as out of a job but yeah this is like one of the chillest jobs and i really hope if you're watching this that you get the job because super chill super easy work um i was a cashier um i don't really know what else like as far as what you should be looking forward to in a negative light if that makes sense because there's nothing negative that i've encountered working in whole foods except annoying as customer you get 20 percent discount 15 dollars in minimum wage period pto team member of appreciation week um you basically get like a lot of free food shirts cups bags they really give a fuck basically you know you store meetings they buy food like it's just it's kind of like a family in whole food i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was informative definitely definitely let me know in the comments below if you secure the job and ask me any more questions and i can definitely um let you know whatever you need to know as far as securing an interview or what to say in your interview